When a very public trial like this happens, a lot of publicity, people start getting that message that maybe there is help for me. Continuing our team coverage now, the Vandy football rape verdict. And all the publicity this trial received may actually have a positive impact. The Rape and Sexual Assault Center here in town says it saw a dramatic increase in calls from survivors during this trial. Fox 17 Sky Arnold live right now outside their offices with the story. Well, Scott, the brochures for the Sexual Assault Center promise hope, healing, and answers. And lately, employees here have been providing all three to more people. We're told calls to the center have quadrupled in recent days, and the reason is the Vanderbilt rape trial. Just forget, just move on. Getting better. Sexually violated at eight. At the Sexual Assault Center, survivors make t shirts to communicate feelings. Bruised and broken. But the road to that communication begins with a phone call, and lately more women have been making it. As soon as the trial started, we started getting more phone calls. President Tom Towhill says calls from sexual assault survivors actually quadrupled during the Vanderbilt rape trial. They've heard some of these horrible uh, examples of what she experienced, and it's triggered some of that in them, and they, they realize they need some help. Toehill sees that as a positive development, considering how many victims don't come forward. Nationwide, it's believed only 46 percent ever report the crime to police. And I thought, well, maybe I did something that made him think I agreed to it. A few months ago, we talked with sexual assault survivor Amy Sulam about why. In her case, there were several reasons. I actually felt guilty that I would ruin his life. Sulam eventually spoke up in hopes of helping others, and we heard something similar from the survivor's statement prosecutors read after the Vanderbilt verdict. I want to remind other victims of sexual violence, you are not alone, you are not to blame. Something counselors here will be saying to even more women who now have the courage to seek counseling. They know how to help somebody and how to, to help them understand the decisions they've been making and the coping that they've been using, and then help them find some healthier ways to be able to do that. Now, these survivors who've been calling haven't all been new callers to the center. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you why some of them are actually women who have sought help before. Live in Metro Center, Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.